Hey Shelby Bells, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, we have to talk about Jaclyn Hill again because I made this video and then I'm scrolling through the Twitter, scrolling through the things and looking and I'm seeing that she is facing even more backlash and this is kind of tied into what we talked about in my last video about Jaclyn Hill about the bronzer shade range because people think it might be tied together for some reason. But anyway, I want to talk about it with you guys. So if you're interested in hearing more more, then make sure that you keep on watching. Okay, so Jaclyn Hill had this huge drama with her bronzer shade range that's going on. People are saying she's not inclusive enough and all of that, okay? We talked about that, we know. Here's the thing, okay? Apparently, like the next day or something, Jaclyn Hill was getting into her car and she was like forcefully being pulled out of her car or she was basically attacked by two men. Um, and they, who knows what they were trying to do with her, but she was basically attacked by two men when she was trying to get into her car hey guys um okay so as you know i posted yesterday i tweeted and i also posted it here about um, me like physically being pulled to a guy's car this weekend um it was extremely scary and extremely traumatizing and i said that i wanted to get on here and talk about it in detail and i still do and i still plan to the reason i haven't gotten on here yet is because yesterday was a way harder day than i thought like the first half of the day i don't know i was just like Thank God I'm okay. And then the second half of the day, something kind of set set in where I was like, it was really, really scary. <laughs> um, anyways, I had I had obligations today. I had to work. I had to get up. I had to put on my makeup, which was the best thing. Um, I've been working all day and popping on social media, seeing people say that I'm doing this for attention or I'm making this up has got me so livid. I can't even put it into words. I'm so angry over this. People who are accusing me of lying about a guy grabbing me and another... Anyways, I had to stop myself because I'm getting really angry. I'm not an angry person. I do not get this emotion, honestly, often at all. But I'm so pissed right now. The fact that yesterday my mom spent the entire day such a fucking wreck, you know, for better lack of words, just over the thought of what could have happened. And then there's people out here saying that I would lie about this. It just says so much more about your character than it does about mine. Like, are you capable of lying about something like this? Or have you lied about something like this before? Like, I just, I, I don't understand. It's got me so angry. And it's because of people like you. When I say people like you, I'm talking about the people who are accusing me of lying. It's because of people like you that women don't come forward when bad things happen. Thank you, Jesus, that I am completely 100% safe. It shook me up. It scared me. I've learned my lesson. I'm never going anywhere else ever again. But... It's because of people like you that women do not have the balls to stand up and say this happened because they're afraid that they're going to be accused of lying. It's bullshit. People are saying that she's lying about that. Now, here's my take on that, okay? While we are, while Jaclyn Hill is known for the controversy, for the scandal, for all of that, we really haven't seen much of that since the lipsticks, okay? Except for this bronzer thing, which I think was done in poor taste. I think she should have waited to launch the bronzers. I think she should have waited because there's just no, really no excuse for me. I really can't justify not including most ranges of skin tones in any kind of complexion products launch these days if you're just a smaller company or like if you hey miss kitty hi ma'am miss hello baby girl you're so cute you miss all the people that love you so baby oh miss kitty's here she loves miss Okay, we'll hang out in a bit, Miss Kitty. We're filming right now, okay, dear? Okay. I just can't justify not having an inclusive shade range. And the thing is, like, if you can't do it, then just don't launch it yet. For her to launch the, for her to launch those five initial shades and then say, well, you'll get more in a little bit, just wait and do the whole thing then. We just got your Bougie Roos collection literally like a month ago, if that. So what was the need to hurry up and launch this summer collection when first of all we still have a little bit of summer left okay and also to not just like wait and like push these out when you can include more people for me that was a bad move okay but anyway people are saying 
that she kind of created this whole story of being attacked to uh, like make people feel bad for her, to take the attention off of the bronzer situation and all of that, okay? Because not only were people saying that these bronzers are uh, non-inclusive, they also are saying the pat the swatches are like super patchy the house and they look like like actual like ooh, and they just like don't look good, right? Um, well, my I'm not really gonna talk about that too much, guys, because my thing on that is that like if you look, I'm gonna swatch a cream bronzer that I have my first five physicians formula on my arm right now. I'm just gonna take a bunch of it on my finger here and I'm just gonna do this. Well, well, maybe not. I don't know. That actually looks pretty good. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I just literally just proved the other point. But I can see where so sometimes swatches they just don't end up working very well, and you you do need to apply the product with brushes before you can see how it actually works. So for me, like bad swatches is a thing of like 2018. I feel like we've moved past that. I feel like we've learned that even though something might swatch badly, that it might perform well because there are a ton of products that I've personally used when I swatch them. I'm like, oh, okay. But then when I put them, use them with a brush or maybe just apply them with a different technique, they work a lot better. So I don't want to get too much into the swatch thing. But I mean, if Jaclyn Hill made this whole story up for sympathy because of her bad bronzer launch, then that is, I mean, just really, really manipulative and kind of gross. Okay. It just really is. Now, do I think that she did that? Unfortunately, I do not think that she did that. And I say unfortunately because then that means that she did get attacked by two people and that is and that is awful and I'm keeping her in my thoughts and you know wishing for healing and all of that because that that's traumatizing to go through to say the least and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. So, I mean, I can't even imagine. Can you imagine just being like attacked by two people getting in your car? It is so important. Men and women, you need to be like aware of your surroundings, you know? And it's so easy for us to just be like this, you know, and doing the things and like, and it's like, oh, let me check my text message while I'm walking to the car or let me get in the car and I'm going to send this text message real quick with the doors unlocked, whatever. Like, no, you, you go, you get in your car, you lock the car and you go, you know what I'm saying? Or just make sure you lock the car at least. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. And if you see anything or you like might suspect anybody's following you or anything, then you need to like, don't, don't take it lightly, you know what I'm saying? I actually had a coworker, this is like scary, I had a coworker tell me a story the other day that she was being followed home from work. I don't know if it was from work or not. I don't know where they started following her from. I don't know if it was from the place we work at or if like somewhere else on her journey home because she lives kind of far. She was being followed on the freeway and I mean like followed, followed and she exited and did a bunch of turns and stuff and they were still following her. And so she called the police and she was like, oh my God, someone's following me. I've done a bunch of turns. I've done a bunch of things and they're still following me. I'm scared. What do I do? And do you know what they told her? They told her she needs to pull over and wait for someone to come to file a police report. That's what the police, that's what the people in the dispatch told her. So you're telling me that this woman thinks she's being followed by someone with who knows what their intentions are to essay her, to hurt her, to steal from her, to rob her, to take her car. Who knows what their intentions are, right? But I doubt it's just to say hello because who would follow? that's just weird I mean like the intentions were bad okay they told her to pull over and wait for someone to come to follow a report no by the time I pull by the time you get here it takes you three hours to get anywhere the police at least in Houston takes you three hours to get anywhere to do anything file any kind of report on anything honey it's awful okay I'm probably gonna be dead on the side of the road by then so there's just a huge like like problem within the system as far as that stuff goes to begin with but I mean just all I just say to this be aware of your surroundings and don't let people like I mean just be aware okay and don't make yourself a victim do what you can to control what you can control if you can control staying aware of your surroundings and like don't take don't take things lightly okay get in your car lock the doors and go from places you know if you can avoid going places alone then avoid going to them alone avoid leaving places late at night you know the whole the whole thing it's very important we all know what we should be doing to stay safe we just need to stay safe you guys okay it's just we I, I don't think that Jaclyn Hill, I don't think she made this up. And that is, and that's sad. You know, a part of me kind of wishes that she was just being weird and manipulative. Hi, Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty, we're filming. Can you please, with the, with the noise, please, dear? Sir? Thank you so much. He likes to play with like the plastic. I have like some makeup that I like got and like the plastic is still here. 
Mr. Kitty! This isn't for kitties, baby, okay? It's not. I know that you might think it looks like it's for cats, but it's really not, Mr. Kitty. It's, I promise you it's not. And if you eat it, it's not going to be good for kitties or other babies, okay? Kitties are supposed to eat cat food. Sorry about that. I unfortunately don't think she's lying about this situation, and, and because of that, I'm so sorry that happened to you, Jacqueline, and I wish you um, healing and um, that you were able to move past this and to heal from it very, very soon. Um, if I kind of wish that she was lying, because then, I kind of wish that she was lying, because then, like, she wouldn't have had to go through this that she went through, right? I would kind of like more to believe that she was just like being manipulative and trying to get sympathy and everything from people as opposed to this whole like crazy, like scary thing that happened to her. And that's just me because I never want to see anybody hurting or any, I never want to see somebody that I respect go through something so crazy as being like attacked outside of her car or whatever that, that happened to her. I never want to see that. So anyway, um, let me know what you think about this in the comments section down below Shelby Bells do you think that Jacqueline Hill is lying about the situation or do you think that she really kind of went through this and it just is a coincidence that it happened to happen right when this bronzer scandal is going on let me know in the comment section down below all of your thoughts on that I'd love to hear from you and yeah um, thank you so much for watching today's video if you liked it make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all of my future videos when they do post and you can follow me on all of my social media at beauty by Shelby that's S-H-E-L-B-Y-E, -E, Beauty by Shelby, and I'll leave that right up there on the screen for you so you can see it. If you're enjoying the Beauty by Shelby vibes and want to see more, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down below for you to choose from, so I'd love it if you did that, but if you're just here to catch up on the Jaclyn Hill drama, then that's totally cool too, girl. Appreciate your view. Love you so. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.